Alpha. This is Todd Luck, and this is the first in a series of videos I'll be doing on Power Rangers and what's going on with that franchise. I'm actually one of the moderators of a Google Plus group that discusses Power Rangers and Super Sentai. So if you're on Google Plus, you can join us. We'd love to have you. Uh, first topic I'm going to do is the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers. Saban has announced what they'll be doing for the 25th anniversary next season uh, in 2018. And some of that stuff is actually starting to happen right now. Power Rangers Hyperforce has already started airing on Twitch. And when it was first announced in the 25th anniversary press release, it just said it was a role-playing game that would be in a show on Twitch. And all I know about Twitch, because I don't personally use it, is that they play video games on Twitch. So I was thinking, like, oh, cool, it'll be like Final Fantasy or Xenoblade Chronicles or Fable, you know, but with Power Rangers, how awesome will that be? And then the ne next release came out actually describing the show, and it turns out that Twitch has a channel that the tabletop RPGs, and that's Dungeons & Dragons style role-playing games. So they point a camera at the Dungeon Master and the players, and for two hours, they just show them playing the game. It's just the players verbally acting out scenarios and rolling dice. And they have an entire channel called Hyper RPG, and it has a lot of different franchises um, with role-playing game shows like Star Wars, Valiant Comics, this uh, in the press release is described as the first officially licensed role-playing game on the channel. So Saban has actually officially licensed this game. And maybe because of that, we actually have actors from the show on Hyperforce. They're actually the some of the players on Hyperforce. So we have... Peter Sudarso, who plays the Blue Ranger on Power Rangers Ninja Steel. He plays Preston, and he got to play um, as the Red Ranger in Hyperforce. And he actually was inspired by Captain Marvelous from Go Kyger and named his character Marv, and he's a little cocky and all that good stuff. Um, and we have... Paul Shear, uh, who played Bulk in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and many other seasons. And he is actually playing uh, the Yellow Ranger, uh, or playing as the Yellow Ranger in Hyperforce. And it's a completely different character. It is so much fun to see him play this straight lace, square jawed, good intentioned. Time Force Officer. I mean, it was just so cool. Even if it was just dialogue, he is so good at improv. He's just such a, uh, just so quick with his wit and with his mind. And um, also had Andre the Black Nerd, who is not an actor on the show, but he is a huge Power Ranger fan who's done many, many videos on YouTube about the series. And... Um, and so you have five players, but you also have a six chair, and that is a rotating guest star. And so the first week, that was Aaron Cahill, who played Jen, Time Force Pink Ranger. And so she got to reprise that role. And even if it's just her sitting at a table delivering some dialogue, it's still pretty cool. Uh, the post-game show uh, where they interviewed her and, like, they pull out a box with her old costume uh, in it. it. It was just really cool, the post-game show. If you, The episodes are long. They are two hours, or at least they're scheduled to be two hours. The first episode was three. But they were kind of figuring out the game. They were figuring out the players. So I got a feeling they're going probably going to, you know, kind of pick up the pace next episode, probably have um, better scenarios. It's probably going to gel a little more than the first episode. But they seem to really enjoy themselves. I think a lot of people, you know, who are into role-playing games probably enjoy that first episode, too. Um, 
And if you're not into role playing games, uh, give it a try. It may be your thing. It may not be, but it's definitely interesting that they'll have a rotating guest chair and they've indicated it'll be someone different every week. And so they're doing 25 episodes. And so it's very possible we may get a guest star actor from each season. We'll see. It would be pretty amazing if they could get Jason David Frank to do Green Ranger. I mean, just can you imagine like the the premise is that of the game is that the five players are a team of rangers who were time force cadets. And then uh, this evil force attacks the time force Academy. So they have, and goes back in time and they have to chase it back through time. And the second episode is going to be mighty Morphin power rangers. They are going to land in the year that the first season of mighty Morphin power rangers took place so it would just be amazing if they ended up landing like when Tommy was evil and they could have Jason David Frank reprise that role and do the Green Rain, the evil Green Ranger laugh. And that would be awesome. This is just speculation. I have no idea who's going to be in the second episode. They have not said yet, but I'm just saying there's some cool possibilities here. Um, though you will have to sit through two hours of people role playing. So. You know, we'll see. Um, I plan to uh, post links to it every time it airs live. It air on Google. I'll be posting links on the Google Google Plus group. You gotta excuse me. Been a long night here. Um, it airs at six p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So every Tuesday, so that's 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Twitch Hyper RPG channel. Now, if you can't watch it live, it's going to be on Twitch RP, Hyper RPG as a video, but you have to be a paid subscriber of Twitch to watch it there. Now, if you're not a paid subscriber, you can wait a week and it'll appear on the Hyper RPG YouTube channel. And you can watch it there. So that's Hyperforce. And um, again, that is happening right now. Second episode's on Tuesday. So other things that have been announced is uh, Power Rangers Live show, a stage show. And so it's going to be a multimedia show. Um there's very little that's been shown or described specifically about it other than it's going to be a multimedia show and it's going to have stunts and all that good stuff. So presumably it's going to probably be a lot like the old original stage show. It's going to probably have video from the show or pre-recorded video. Um, chances are the actors from the show will not be in the stage show. It, it will be people in costumes that just, you know, they're going to be stage actors in those costumes. They'll never take them off. Um, that that was the way the original show was done. Now, they did have some pre-recorded s- segments with like Zordon and Alpha in that uh, played on screen in the original show. So there could be something like that, which I think would be really cool. It's actually going to be Ninja Steel, by the way. Um that I was kind of surprised, uh, actually pleasantly surprised. Um, it, it's pretty cool that uh, the current season's going to get that type of treatment. And um, it's going to be expensive, though. At least it is for me. Um, the The showings will be starting early next year. Mine, the closest one to me, the one in my state, is going to be in March. And it's going to be in Durham, and that's an hour and a half away from me. The seats, uh, the worst seats in the house, and there are not that many of them run about, I think it was about 38 bucks, and most of the rest run about 70 and that's just kind of middle section seats. The ones that with the best view would be about 150 but those come with like a backstage pass and stuff, and you get to meet the cast or whatever. Um, if I can meet the cast of Ninja Steel, 
I would totally did 150, <laughs> but uh, I probably will probably go for uh, more of the medium uh, price, the uh, middle seats for about 70. If I do it, it's it would require me to take time off because it's an hour and a half drive to get there and it begins at seven o'clock. Um, we'll see. I would definitely like to do it. It's definitely one of those really rare opportunities. You just, I mean, like to my knowledge, this is probably the second official show they've done like this. So, <laughs> you know, chances are I'm not going to get the attend another one. So, uh, it would be cool to, if I could, uh, if I could attend, definitely would like to, um, there is also an announcement for a top 25 for the 25th line of collectibles. Now, the way that the release described it was that they would be from their partners, Bandai Toys, uh, the Power Rangers Legacy Wars app, and Boom Studios, which puts out the Power Ranger comics. Um, that would be a little weird if there was a top 25 line that included like virtual stuff in an app and toys and comics. Um, what Ranger Wiki put, and I'm not sure if this is an interpretation or if they know something beyond the press release, but what they put is that it was going to be toys put out by Bandai in collaboration with uh, Boom Studios and and the uh, Legacy Wars app, which would make a lot more sense because, you know, toys are generally the collectibles we get um, from Power Rangers. It is a toy line. Um, so, I mean, maybe we'll get a, a Lord Dracon figure or something like that. Uh, but there's really no information about what will be in this line, this top 25 or 25th. Um, I get... Hey, why don't y'all speculate? Tell me what you want in the top 25 or 25th or what you think will be in it. Uh, I don't know right now. Um, I know it will not be quite as extensive as the 20th anniversary. Obviously, Go Kyger presented a very unique opportunity to showcase every ranger ever. I mean, there were every ranger in the show got a key. All the Red Rangers had five-inch figures. All the Six Rangers had five-inch figures. Obviously, it's not going to be that extensive, but that's fine. It was five years ago. It's good to do different things. And keeping that in mind, there it was also a bullet in the press release that was describing a Power Rangers escape room, virtual reality centers, which will be part of the 25th anniversary celebration, and Learning development opportunities for kids. Uh, I think there were. I think it was also athletic opportunities too for the kids. Were in was on that um, little bullet, and they described much more, which is always exciting. So it sounds like they're pretty pretty much going to kind of tap into kind of trendy things. I mean, a lot of people are doing the escape room. A lot of franchises are doing escape rooms. There's a Legend of Zelda escape room. So I'm not sure how that's going to translate into Power Rangers, but it'll be interesting. Uh, and virtual reality centers, I don't even know what that is. I mean, maybe I should look it up. But uh, sounds cool. I don't know if anything like that will come around me. but um, And... One thing that Ranger Wiki actually added that wasn't in the release, but is really cool, is that there's going to be a visual history book released September of 2018, and it's going to be photographs, including behind the scenes, production photographs, and uh, designs that will be in this book, and it's going to cover the entire franchise through Ninja Steel, which is awesome. I don't know how much the book is going to cost, but... I probably would like to have that. That sounds really cool. And also, there is going to be an anniversary episode airing in the summer of 2018 during Ninja Steel. Uh, now, that's the only information about what they're doing in the show that they've released so far. 
we've had uh, indications that there will be guest stars from previous seasons. Uh, and in the Ninja Steel trailer, well, Super Ninja Steel trailer, I'm sorry, for next season, um, Sledge appears. And so that we don't know what that means. All we can do is speculate. But if we put a two and two together, Sledge showing up and we have an anniversary episode could very well be a Dino Charge team up. And if there's a Dino Charge team up, we know that they have unused Sentai footage of Dino Charge teaming up with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Dino Thunder. So, wouldn't it be really great if they actually used that footage? Could that be the anniversary episode? We'll see. Another interesting tidbit was it airs in the summer of 2018. And, of course, the show is normally on hiatus during the summer. There's a couple possibilities here, uh, both of which I, I like. Uh, one is that perhaps they are going to divide the show differently. A lot of shows, instead of doing uh, two halves of a season divided by a hiatus in the summer, are doing the shows split up into three segments with two shorter hiatuses, which I think would be great for the series because the summer hiatus is just too long. <laughs> so if they did that, that would be fantastic. Uh, another possibility is perhaps it is a going to be a perhaps a one hour show, a TV movie in the same vein as Clash of the Red Rangers back in Samurai, which I think would be very appropriate if it is a big crossover event. So we'll see. Um, either way, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm enjoying Ninja Still so far. I'm, I'd like to see what they're going to do. Um, they've been very tight-lipped on what's coming next season as far as guest stars go, and I think that's a good thing. Um, I think it's good to be surprised. I think it's good. Uh, it's just good to be surprised. <laughs> I think sometimes, uh, you know, people can kind of speculate their way into disappointments and so when you release, you know, these little tidbits, um, sometimes I think it works against the show. Uh, but that being said, I think I, I still enjoyed uh, Super Mega Force and I still love all the stuff that we got uh, on social media and all the videos like Jason David Frank posted of, you know, the of the uh, old Rangers hanging out. Uh, when they weren't shooting the final episode and stuff. Uh, you know, there's just, there's just no one right, right way to do it. I mean, I think you can, you know, like let your actors go hog wild and just post whatever they want to uh, on social media. And, and it's still fun. It's just fun in a different way. But I'm looking forward to being surprised next year about what they come up with. Uh, so that's pretty much everything that's been announced and um, I don't know if there's a whole lot more to say on that subject right now. We'll find out more in the coming months. And uh, again, I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you guys are too. Uh, like I said, com uh, comment in the comments below and uh, tell me what you want to see for the 25th anniversary. And what are you looking forward to uh, for next year with Power Rangers? And uh, also like and subscribe this video. Uh, like I said, this is going to be the first in a series of videos, uh, maybe weekly. We'll see, you know, how it goes. I'm a pretty busy guy, but uh, we'll, we'll see what I can put out here. All right. So uh, until next time, may the power protect you.